How are you feeling? I don't want you to get too down on yourself. Sometimes people just don't click. What are you talking about? I mean, let's be honest. You haven't gotten as over with the fans as we'd like you to be. You must have been feeling the disconnect. I wasn't feeling it, but I am now. Don't worry about it, though. Some people have long, fulfilling, mid-card careers. And we probably won't release you. But if you ever want to be considered in the title picture, I'm going to need you to really dig into the team's ideas. Troy, I've literally done everything you've asked. I've given it all a chance, even when I've disagreed with it. Yeah, but maybe you just haven't committed enough. I want to see you try to try harder. Try to try harder? That's your advice? Are you serious? That and to wear the new gear I had designed for you. Trust me, a new look will change everything. Troy, I told you when you pitched it to me before, I'm not wearing that gear. <sighs> What's the problem? They used to call you the captain in TBD, right? I've heard that name around here too. And Regal won't be happy if you don't wear the gear. You're telling me Regal wants me to wear that? Sure! Troy? Well, he may not know the details, but he wants me to help you. So, like it or not, I've been deputized. When you're ready to enthusiastically try this, I've got a match for you against Shayna Baszler. I don't like it. But fine. Sure. Please let the record reflect my enthusiasm. You'll see once you're in it. The fans will love it. I'll set up your match with Shayna. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's going to be a five-minute time limit match. Just a little cramped for time tonight. I'm sure you understand. You're kidding me. I am not. Have fun out there! The captain is sporting a real look right now. The following contest is scheduled for one song. Making her way to the ring from Death Valley. Redhead Ray! Maybe Cap's goal is to take her opponent on a cruise. Brilliant strategy. I'm just saying, keep underestimating this woman. She will keep proving you wrong. After sailing the seven seas, the captain is ready to come ashore. Here comes the submission magician. And from Seafall, South Dakota, the queen. skill. Uh, years of training has led to singles and tag team success here in WWE. No doubt one of the most dangerous women you'll find in the entire division. A purveyor of discount dental work under the WWE umbrella. Is it just me, or does Shayna sometimes seem mean-spirited? 
They call that killer instinct, Saxton. And trust me, it's a good thing. It'll be interesting to see how Cap will perform with her new, well, let's just call it attitude. The captain better keep her sails tight and bearing dead ahead, or else she'll run into the iceberg that is Shayna Baszler. Well, new costume or not, I think Cap will bring the same level of intensity we've come to expect from her. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Zealous going with a pin attempt there. Big leg drop. Oh. And Baszler had it scouted. Can she score the pin? A kick out before the referee can get to one. Not even close to down and out at this point. Adios. Boom. Shayna Baszler's defense is being whittled down. Baszler's toughness needs to kick in here. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Close line in left in the corner. And an elbow for good measure. She saw it coming. Laid down with a power bomb. She kicks out with force. Late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the one count. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Lands a kick to the gut. Stops Baszler's attack right there. Oh, down by the DDT. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Should I ask? Do you have to? Should I call you Skipper? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I can't with you. <laughs> I said sorry, but you totally can with me. 
Otherwise, you wouldn't be here to drown your sorrows in the small pond that is TBD. <sighs> is it that Troy guy again? Yep. And I can't even get a word in with Regal to talk about my concerns. I get he's busy, but come on. Huh. It's not like you to have trouble getting people to pay attention to you. What's the issue? There's just so many rules and people to navigate. I'm getting advice from every direction, and I can't make it make sense. So you came home to complain at me? It is kind of our thing. True story. At least whenever there used to be issues on the road or here in TBD, we'd put our heads together and figure it out. I can stand on my own, but it's a lot more fun to tread through the muck with you. Well, are you having any at least? Any what? Fun? No. I feel stuck. Caught between all the various opinions and instructions about what I should be doing. I just want to get out there and, and do what I do best. But you're the one who told me to take advantage of this opportunity. I told you to say yes to the adventure, not to overthink it. Honestly, I think you're holding back a little. Remember your debut? You didn't care about what anyone thought. You just went out there, and the WWE universe loved every unfiltered second of it. You have great instincts, but you're trying too hard to toe the line. It's throwing you off. So you think I need to try to try less hard? You know what they say about trying to please everyone. Everyone will love me, and I'll be wildly successful. All I'm saying... The captain I know would trust her instincts and speak up if something didn't feel right for her, regardless of the consequences. He certainly would have with me. Whether it was in the ring, or on a boat. Geneva, I'm leaving. Fine, fine, I'll leave you be. Hit me up if you need anything. I think I got what I needed. I'll give doing what they want another chance, but I'll make sure to say my piece too. Thank you. Welcome a superstar who defies tenacious, brave, and driven. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Death Valley. Redhead! Redhead! Cap has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. By waves, you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives? Then, yeah, sure. Natalia always 
ready to handle things inside the ring. You know, we've seen Natalya's confidence shaken a few times as of late. She's had some tough roadblocks in her path. If I know Natty, she's laser focused on smashing through the obstacles and regaining that confidence. The captain has not been lighting the world on fire as of late. Maybe if she can fish out a victory from Natalya, it could really turn her ship around. Cap has serious potential. I don't think she deserves all of these nautical jokes. I actually agree with you, Saxton. In fact, Natalia better get her bulkhead on straight, or this super starboard will have her tied up in knots and capsized in no time. Oh, why do I even try? Impressive reversal there. Oh, man. Caught the leg. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Look at this, going counter for counter. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. And the boat struggling a bit to stay afloat there. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Into a dragon screw leg whip. Now that'll do some serious damage. And she had Natalia's number there. Brought down. Boom. Comes down across the head with the axe handle. Running leg drop. Maybe not, maybe not. And a kick out. Not enough pressure on the pin. Oh, with authority. <laughs> oh, flapjack. Gosh, landing face first. Caught with the lariat. Natalia turns the tables. She's forced onto the defensive now. Yeah, Natalia showed that Hart family wisdom. Shin breaker. Slips out of the way. Placed in the corner. She adjusts it and reverses it. Ready by nature. Natalia showing off that patented in-ring prowess there. Queen of Hearts looking to finish things off. He's about to do so, Corey. If she can step through, sharpshooter apply. The uh, submission locked in. No. A uh, reversal. Oh, uh, got himself out of it. Oh, saw what was coming and answers with the clothesline. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Natalia might be wasting too much time. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. I don't have you walking funny. Will it be? I think so. Rope break, pin stops. This is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. Kick to the lower back. She was clearly waiting for that. Fatigue must be getting to her. Truly fighting to the last breath, but we might be coming up on that soon. Boom. A leg drop. Boom. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. And Natalia dodges there. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Oh, she hit the corner hard.
shift with some... Oh, uh, not again. Is this really how you see me? You know what? I've done everything they've asked of me. I've done everything you all have asked of me. Wearing dumb gear, playing nice with appearances, taking bad advice from WWE veterans. And you know what I've realized? No one knows my potential better than me. I am not just a spoke on this wheel. And I am not gonna wait until I'm at rock bottom to take control of my future. This is my story, and I'm taking it back. Are we still on? What do you think you're doing? If you think you could just do whatever you want without any consequences... I... <laughs> that felt really good. It was certainly unexpected. I don't recall a promo being planned for this evening. I already told her. Shut up, Troy. I don't recall a promo being planned. Haven't seen that sort of fire from you since your debut. I'm not apologizing for what I said. I don't recall anyone asking you to. But if you have more comfortable places to be than WWE, I'd be happy to release you from your contract. That's how it's gonna be. Yes, there have to be consequences for- Shut, Shut up, up Troy. Troy. But I have to ask, why did you sign with WWE in the first place? Sir? Did you sign here to be comfortable? I didn't sign here to dog and pony show dumb creative decisions or feel like I should be thankful for every scrap. You're a talented wrestler. But you can do that anywhere. If you came to WWE to be a superstar, to do what you can only do somewhere with the reach of WWE. To not just do the work, but to live the fantasy. I'm going to give you the greatest gift I can offer. <laughs> Best of luck in her future endeavors. Shut, Shut up, Troy. Troy. Freedom. Get uncomfortable. Take big swings. Not just in the ring, but out of it. You want to be a WWE superstar? I think you might just have it inside you. Just promise me three things, and I'll have your back every step of the way. What's that? Put your whole heart into it, and don't be afraid to fail. It'll hold you back if you only attempt what you know you can do. Do those things, and I'll make sure your spot here is safe, whatever happens. So, what do you think? I'm intrigued, and I'm in. Brilliant. But that was only two things. What's the third? Oh, right you are. Promise me you'll never wear that ridiculous outfit that I never approved ever again. That won't be a problem. You've got yourself a deal. <laughs>